Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate. If you are new here, I would love it if you subscribed and liked my videos. It would mean so much to me. I totally forgot that I have a haircut in about an hour. I thought it was tomorrow. I just got the text message from the salon as like a reminder and they were like, you have an appointment at 1230. I was like, oh my gosh, I thought it was tomorrow. So I quickly just made myself look a little bit presentable, did a little bit of makeup. I just just put on this outfit. I'm wearing this crew neck from Aritzia. I'm obsessed with this color for fall. I got this last year and I believe the color is called something periscope but it's like such a cool color. It's like a black grayish brown color. And then I just put on some biker shorts from Maritzia and then my black and white Nike dunk lows. This is just going to be a few days of my life vlog. I feel such in the fall mood. I have so many candles going right now. I have this candle going, lavender and coconut. And actually a girl who follows me on my food account, I follow her too. She is the cutest. She did a giveaway and I actually won the giveaway. This was my first giveaway I ever won. So she gave me this candle and like a bunch of other cute stuff. So if you're watching this, thank you i love you she is like the cutest i message her all the time i also have these two candles burning my room smells just like fall right now so this one is from anthropology it's the pumpkin souffle one and i need to get another one because it's literally gone it's practically gone so i need to pick up another one of these actually might do that in like the next couple of days and then i have this one from home goods it's called apple blossom so good i am so excited for fall i love fall i wish the weather was like a little bit cooler it's still kind of hot out we're getting there but i don't know what to do for my hair um i definitely want to keep the length but the last time i got my hair cut was in march so that was like six months ago. Yeah, my hair just needs to be cleaned up a ton. And I think I just want like a bunch of layers and clean up my bangs a little bit because I think I'm going to leave them like this length, maybe a little bit shorter. But I have so many dead ends and my hair is just so gross. I haven't even made my bed yet. It's literally 1.45. I'm having a really late start to my day, but I didn't want to make my bed because you are sleeping, my little baby. If you're new to my channel, this is one of two of my cats this is chester we actually rescued him he's so big now we're so cute i love you but yeah he's just sleeping on my bed i haven't even made my bed yet so i'm gonna go to the hair salon soon and i will see you after hi guys so it is now saturday i think the last time i was vlogging i was showing you that i was getting my hair cut i think that was on tuesday and i didn't even show you my haircut because I forgot to bring my camera with me and then I just didn't end up vlogging the rest of that day. I didn't really get much done to it. I just kind of got some more layers and we cleaned up my bangs a little bit and I didn't want any of the length cut off because I'm like into my long hair right now so we just kind of left the length and then put in some layers so my hair has like a nice shape to it and then we just cut my bangs a little bit the curtain bangs oh my gosh i feel like a rock star right now look at my hair <laughs> i feel like i'm in a rock band or something but i just took a shower i'm just brushing my hair yeah not much has been going on this week oh i'll show you my tattoo since it like looks normal right now let me show you so it's right here. It just says lucky, super cute. If you missed my LA vlog, make sure to go watch that since I explained the tattoo and everything. Yeah, I actually waxed my neck because, well, Zach did it actually because the spot that I have the tattoo in, I'm Italian, so I'm like really hairy and the back of my neck was really hairy and my hairline was like really long. like it would my hair literally went down to like right here and so we actually waxed it because with my tattoo right there you couldn't really see it and it was kind of hidden i obviously didn't want to pay for a tattoo just to have it be covered by my hair because you can't really see it but we actually waxed my neck that was like one of the most painful experiences i have ever experienced in my life like that was tragic it was so bad i just 
figured he would know what he was doing since it's not that complicated but the first strip he did we used like the sally hansen box body wax and he did like too much hair in one section and when he ripped it up oh my gosh i've never experienced that much pain in my life i started crying because it hurt so bad yeah so i'm just brushing my hair out i'm gonna put in some leave-in conditioner this leave-in conditioner smells like heaven it literally smells like a creamsicle christina actually introduced me to this it's the miami beach bum leave-in hair conditioner so good it smells like heaven she actually has a code for it and i used her code and i was like i just bought the conditioner like Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It literally smells like an orange creamsicle. So this is what I've been putting in my hair. I don't really do much to my hair. Like I don't blow dry it. I let it air dry. I don't use heat on it really. Like once in a blue moon, I will blow it out with the Revlon dry brush, but I rarely do that. Hair is really healthy and I just don't want to mess it up. So I just kind of let my hair chill and I actually really love my natural hair type like it's curly and wavy and I just think it's cute And I just literally stick it in a clip and this is how I let my hair dry. I'm just using this clip from Princess Polly and She's done. That's all I do to my hair when I get out of the shower. Why did this turn into like a hair tutorial? I don't know. I'm gonna show you my birthday present that I got for my mom because her birthday is next week and my brother's birthday is next week too, my older brother. So this is my mom's present. It's all candles from Anthropology. I'm gonna show you the candles that I got her. It's literally all wrapped up already. I already did the tissue paper and everything, but I'm just gonna show you. I am obsessed with Anthropology candles they're so good so i have this candle from anthropology it's the pumpkin souffle boulangerie i'm assuming this is french this is like practically gone and i also have the oatmeal cookie one but it's that one's practically gone too i actually got them last year and so she wanted a new one so i never know what to get my mom for presents because she's such a hard person to buy for i literally get her candles or like an amazon gift card because she's so hard to buy things for and i don't want to get her something that she doesn't like so i was like you know what i'm gonna get some anthropology candles for her birthday since she's like a candle fanatic like me so i actually ordered these online and picked them up at the store so the first candle that i got her is the oatmeal cookie one these candles smell so good. It just looks like this. The packaging is super cute. I wish they were bigger because it's like tiny and I think this one is like $22. Yeah, literally $22, but it smells so divine. I'm obsessed. So I got her this one and then I got her this candle. It's the Vulaspa Spiced Pumpkin Latte candle, but like look at the packaging. It's so cute. Like I want to save all of these jars when they're gone. This one just smells like pumpkin. It's so cute. This one is called Pumpkin Clove. Super cute. It's one of the Capri Blue. Can't throw this canthros what am i saying it's one of the capri blue candles that anthropology sells i got her this cute mug i'm obsessed with it this is probably like my favorite thing it's a pumpkin mug like oh my goodness like how cute is this i'm obsessed i want it for myself but i don't even drink coffee or anything so i don't really need it but for hot chocolate i guess it's so cute so this is like my favorite thing that i got her i have to take the price tags off but yeah, so this is what I got my mom. And then next week on her birthday, me and Zach are taking her to Eddie V's. This is like her favorite restaurant right now. I actually went there for one of my birthday dinners. I had like three birthday dinners, but it was actually really good. It's like a seafood place and she loves that place. So we're taking her there on her birthday next week. Yeah, I'm just obsessed with birthdays. I love the whole shebang of birthdays, like the balloons, cake. I'm obsessed. I hope she likes it i don't know why she wouldn't but i don't know why i just said that i could give her a rock and she'd be like oh my god you're so sweet i love you but hopefully zach is gonna come over later we're supposed to go to dinner at some point today are you okay hey what's wrong with you oh okay yeah He's supposed to come over later. We're supposed to go to dinner somewhere. I don't really know where we're going, but I can't believe it's already two o'clock. My morning flew by. Dude, 
you good? I love going to dinner and like dressing up and getting cute and just finding new places to go. It's like one of my favorite leisure activities is going to dinner. So that is the plan. I'm gonna make my bed because I hate when my bed is unmade. I just didn't want to. Oh my gosh. He just got snot all over my bed. Okay, I'm gonna go. last time that I picked up my camera. I think it was my mom's birthday. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I was showing you guys what I got for my mom's birthday. And then I didn't even vlog on my mom's birthday. I just showed me picking up her cake because we didn't even end up going out to eat because she didn't want to. We had reservations at Eddie V's. She just didn't want to go. And we actually went there for one of my birthday dinners and she really loved it. That's why she like wanted her birthday dinner to be there and then we just didn't end up going so i didn't vlog her birthday because we didn't do anything we just like had cake and chilled but today is saturday october 2nd it's currently 8 28 in the morning i just woke up like a little bit ago i can't believe it's october like don't even get me started on that like that is crazy but i just made some breakfast i made some avocado toast Dave's killer bread, some olive oil, and some everything bagel seasoning. So I'm gonna have some breakfast and I don't know what the plan is for today. I really want to go apple picking because the weather literally changed overnight in Massachusetts. Like it's freezing outside right now. It's like 45 degrees. Oh, now it's 51 degrees. But I'm like really in the mood to go apple picking. I'm like full on fall mode so hopefully we can go apple picking today the weather's gonna be like 70 all day and like partly cloudy i just really want to go apple picking i'm not even like the biggest fan of apples but just the experience of going and also the donuts and the apple cider are like the reason why i go apple picking so i took off my acrylics too i don't know if i had them on the, in the beginning of this video i can't even remember i need to take a break from them because my nails are getting so thin and flimsy and i'm kind of digging my short nails right now so i just did like like a nail strengthener and just put i think ballet slippers over it but i'm kind of into my short nails i just needed to take a break from the not even acrylics because they're just like the nail tip and i just like glue them on but the glue like ruins my nails so i'm taking a break from them and just letting them chill but i'm kind of into it i just picked out my outfit and got ready so i'm wearing this cropped tank top that i always wear from aritzia i just got this new flannel from urban outfitters it's brown but it looks really black on camera and then i also got these brown biker shorts from aritzia and i'm just wearing my i forget what these are called but they're the doc martin like chelsea boot looking things and i'm gonna do a fall haul soon because i've been getting a bunch of fall clothing i don't know why i'm like so obsessed with fall this year but i got a bunch of new stuff for fall so i'm just waiting for everything to come in and i will do a fall haul and i haven't done a haul in like a really long time so i'm kind of excited about it but this is my little comfy outfit so i think we're gonna go to that juice place and go apple picking after but the place is called juice press in boston and i actually got invited to go there to try the new copina co collagen add-in i actually got invited to go there which is super cool so we're gonna try it out but yeah i'm like in the fall mood i'm so pumped for fall if you couldn't tell
Just got our smoothies. I got strawberry banana with the Copinaco collagen in it. It's actually really good. I always see this place, but I never like think to go inside, but it was actually really good. Yummy. What did you get? I got the, the magic, the blue magic. Lots of great like, health benefits. It's really good for you. So like I figured I'd, you know, get it. <laughs> Is it good? Do you think it's right? It's not as good as the other ones. I want to try. Getting over my fear of apples. Do you like it? I don't like it either. Ew. It doesn't taste like anything. Ew. It's like bland. Yeah, it's pretty bland. 